Hello everyone, this is the Steel Rangers. We are back at the unnamed gate in Kings Valley Tree Farm. And today, unfortunately, the Head Ranger has lost her voice, so I'll be the only person talking. You shall not pa oh, Never mind, you may pass. We found some pallets sitting propped up against a tree. But then when we look up, there is a tree house. And we were looking at it the whole time. We just came back on the road and we found some sort of structure just a few feet away from the tree house. It is it kind of looks like a tent, but it has a chimney. So we have no idea what it is and we're not going over there to investigate. I'd like to mention that this is not Stargo property and that we wandered off of it on one of the tractor roads. up 
from that road and ideally this would be the road we would take back to where we started today except our lead ranger is loaded so we are actually going to make a beeline for our car where we can drop stuff off and see what else we can accomplish for the day a half a mile down the road we found a lid to the bucket that's already strapped to one of our backs this is most unusual there's like a display case in case in here with an old picture and some samples of trees bone fragments and an old chainsaw this is kind of cool neat and it's middle of nowhere there's no identification if it's a trail of any kind or what the purpose of it the lead ranger is holding up a photo that was on the other side of the case we didn't notice at first somebody put a lot of love into this and then of course there's that we don't think that's part of the original collection so we're gonna collect it and put it where it belongs Upon further investigation, we are absolutely certain this is not part of the original collection. The date on that is uh, September 17th, and most of the artifacts in this case well predate that. Some of these things in this picture look like shells of some of the super old objects that we found on our previous hikes. For example, there's shells that kind of look like cars, which might be the same, same design of something we found at Stutzgate just a few weeks ago. We unexpectedly completed a loop. So we collected this much trash plus whatever's on my back here. And the, it is three o'clock, the sun is still high in the sky. And so we're gonna hike back and pick up the trash that we left on the side of the road. Hello everyone, this is the Steel Rangers. It is March 17th and today we're gonna go hiking to the same unnamed gate in Kings Valley Tree Farm. We know we're going to find a lot of litter, so we'll let you know what we find. This is one of the reasons why we carry a knife. one week makes. Last week this place was in the snow and we blew through it pretty quickly. Now since there's no snow we're finding some items that we missed last time. And that's a note to people who get discouraged when you find trash in the places that you already walked or hiked or places you see all the time. Just a change in the daylight can change what you can see. nowhere on a road that hasn't been traversed in a long time. And there's this old bottle and there's water. I was hoping there's nothing inside. Looks like we got lucky. And so did the critters. Back at our turnaround point that we recorded last time with a little lunch log and the beautiful oak trees. 
right next to that turnaround point there is looks like a step up into a truck this thing is very heavy we're gonna have to leave it here on the side of the road this is a classic example of how the sun can change things in an instant that bottle is invisible in any other light this is a hidden treasure we saw something glimmering through the trees and had to come investigate most likely this pond does not exist in the middle of the summer but right now it is very very pretty you almost expect a mermaid to sploosh out of there somewhere we found a way right to the edge of the pond there's an old overgrown road that lives right leads right to it Sounds like there's a waterfall up front somewhere. But the more important part is this right here. There's a spot for lunch. We are nowhere near civilization. And yet, people still celebrating their Valentine. Shall not pass! No, seriously, we already went there. You don't need to pass. It's that way, R2. And this has been the Steel Rangers. We have finished, we hiked an accidental loop plus another another loop we this hike was mostly unintentional but it was also quite nice we only collected this much in a second trip which is if you add on to what we collected on a first try it's actually quite a lot so thank you for watching our adventures in hashtag plaking And this has been the Steel Rangers. We just completely unexpectedly completed a loop. You know there's gonna be a lot of litter. Because I'm Batman! <laughs>